Let's get to New York. The single day death toll fell below 500 for a third straight day. And here in the city, despite a slight increase in total hospital admissions, both ICU admissions and positive tests have decreased over the past 24 hours. That is good to hear. We also learned today about the tri state's latest effort to stop the spread. A test and tracing program backed by former Mayor Michael Bloomberg and tasked with tracing the contacts of COVID patients. But News 4's Ray Vietta continues our team coverage from Kipps Bay. Ray, with an announcement from Mayor de Blasio that some say isn't cause for celebration. Yeah, Natalie, Mayor Bill de Blasio making an announcement that's not popular with everyone. He says there will be a 4th of July celebration, but it'll be much different than celebrations we've seen over the East River in years before. Now, as you mentioned, the state and city looking to ramp up testing and former Mayor Michael Bloomberg jumping in to help. I feel very happy. I'm happy, happy, happy. In his voice, you can hear his gratitude. Guillermo Uzme able to leave Mount Sinai, Queens, a survivor. The video provided by the hospital. Yes. The city's hospitals are still packed with patients, but the numbers are going down slowly. Sadly, another 474 people died from the virus. It's been a nightmare. We have a volume of sick people like you can't believe. In one shift, I pronounced six people dead. The governor planning to ramp up testing. He's counting on President Trump to help with test kits. And now he's counting on former mayor Michael Bloomberg to help with contact tracing, figuring out who has the virus and who was exposed to that person. Once you do all those tests, Every positive, you have to go back and trace. Bloomberg offering up more than $10 million to help build an army. That army will help trace the virus to stop it from spreading. He's had quite a bit of uh, experience in this area. It's a very big undertaking. Meanwhile, the city working to get a hold of the cases it already has. It's opening up six more testing sites, some on Friday and some early next week. The sites at NYCHA complexes, communities hit hard by COVID-19. This is the only way uh, we can get out of this phase we're in. With so much work to do, the mayor wanting to give a light at the end of what's been a long tunnel for New York. A 4th of July celebration of some sort after so much loss, hardship and pain. One way or another, we're going to celebrate the 4th of July in a very special way in New York City. The details of that celebration still to be determined. Now, tonight, Governor Cuomo appeared on a late night talk show and he said that this generation will suffer from PTSD as a result of the coronavirus pandemic. We're live in Kips Bay tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. Ray, thank you. Tomorrow, New York City Council is set to hold a hearing on a COVID-19 relief package for city residents, including an essential workers bill of rights. Now that legislation calls for an additional 30 to $75 per shift for non-salaried essential employees at large companies. It would also prohibit the firing of essential workers without just cause, and it would require paid sick leave for independent contractors and freelancers, such as cleaning workers and home care workers too, Stefan.